In this lecture, I want to uh, discuss the scientific background behind our research with a very special formula, with a very special herbal formula called Protectival. The research name was called LCS 101. The reason we have conducted all the research and we went through this very long, almost 15 years now of research, is with one aim, to help cancer patient. The idea is to bridge this gap. There is a big gap between natural medicine and science in cancer care. The only way that uh, natural medicine will be part of regular medicine and regular care of cancer if there will be enough scientific evidence showing safety and efficacy, showing that it works. And because we had such a long experience with such a good results, we decided to take it into research. And as I said, already for 15 years, we've carried out a lot of research project. And I would like to summarize in like very short lecture, the highlights and the main results that we got. And we got results mainly in three different categories. One, we showed the protection from chemotherapy side effects. The second was we saw anti-cancer effect. And then we saw the effect on the immune system, immunological effect. On each one, we did different type of research in different places. So on the protection from chemotherapy side effects, we saw improvement in quality of life. And as you know, when people undertake chemotherapy, their quality of life is reduced in many ways. But we also showed that, that we also protect their blood count, that the blood count, both the white and red, both the hemoglobin and the immune system is kept in a good way comparing to placebo. And I'll discuss it in a minute longer. In the anti-cancer effect, we checked different types of cancers and we saw direct anti-cancer effect, which means the formula kills cancer cells in an in vitro uh, manner, time dependent and dose dependent. And we saw selective uh, anti-cancer effect, which is very unique. In the immune system, we checked different functions of the immune system and we show a much better uh, uh, increase in immune activity especially increase in natural killer cells, which this is the type of the immune cells that also know how to kill cancer. So this is another arm to help the body not just to cope better, but also to better kill cancer because also healthy people all the time have cancer cells and the immune system knows and, and should kill them. So we showed an increase in this immune function. We did the studies in different centers, and that shows also the credibility that a study you need to repeat in different centers with different groups. We did in Ichilov Hospital, which is the municipality hospital of Tel Aviv, in the oncology department. We did several studies, and especially immunological and other studies, in Bar Ilan University in the Cancer and Immunology Research Center, headed by Professor Shaw. Then we did in Sheba Medical Hospital, where I'm working now. I'm the head of the Integrative Oncology uh, Center there, inside the Oncology Department. It's the biggest hospital in the Middle East for cancer. And we did uh, collaborated with uh, colleagues in the States. So in Miami Children's Hospital, we, uh, in the Pathology Department, we did several, again, immunology uh, research projects there. And we collaborated with uh, researchers from MD Anderson, which is one of the largest centers in, in the States uh, for cancer. So all our publication includes always really top biologists, top oncologists from different research centers and uh, published in, in very good journals. So I would like to go into this unique situation where a herbal formula is acting in three different ways, both on the immune system both in, in protecting from chemotherapy and reducing the side effects of chemo. First, I want to look into this protection, this reducing side effect of chemo and improving quality of life. We did a proper RCT, randomized clinical trial uh, research in the oncology department. The breast cancer patients were divided into two groups, taking placebo and real one. It was randomly divided and we followed them up all along the chemo, which is usually about half a year. And then we compared the result. It took about five years just to conduct and finish this research. The results are very, very clear and actually quite amazing. Because chemotherapy reduces the white and red blood, when we look just on the red blood, just on hemoglobin, so hemoglobin under 10, and we look at the patient who took placebo, so almost 50%, 48% of them had hemoglobin under 10. 
When we look, compare it to the real group who took the protectival, only 18% had hemoglobin under 10, so less than half. But it doesn't just mean that you, it keeps the hemoglobin level up, because when you have low hemoglobin, you're also tired, you are also not functioning well. So it's not just on the blood count, but also on the quality of life. If you look at the white blood cells, which means leukopenia, uh, white blood cells under 3,000, again, the same results, placebo 42%. The real one that took the protective valve, the LCS101, only 18%. Again, less than half. Later, we looked also at neutrophils. Neutrophils are the part on the white blood cells that keeps, us, uh, keeps the infections away. That's why a lot of time cancer patient needs to be isolated. And they cannot take the chemotherapy anymore because the neutrophil level, the, the, the immune system is low. So when we look also on, on this part, we see a much better effect. Again, 38 compared to 12, 38 in the placebo percent had low neutrophil level comparing to 12 on the real one. So we see different aspects of both red cells and white blood cells, and we see how the herbal formula, the specific botanical formula protects them. And this is on, on, on real patient and just looking at their blood counts. It was published in one of the best journals called The Oncologist, very prestigious journal with a, a large group of uh, scientists, oncologists, uh, which worked together on this project. We did another uh, human research that looked more on the uh, quality of life, which we also published. You are welcome to read all the publications. And then we saw that fatigue, nausea, appetite, weakness, pain, bowel function, were all kept better with the patient to protectival comparing to what is expected. Let's look at the other aspect, which is uh, anti-cancer effect. Here we see two things. One is a direct killing of cancer cells. And we also published it, and you're welcome to read it. And again, it's time-dependent, dose-dependent. So it means the more we take the, the, the protectival up, the better it kills the cancer cells and usually 24, uh, 48 hours, most of the cells will die, 72 hours, all the cells will die. And we published it, you're welcome to read it. The more interesting, which is our last publication, which was that we saw that the killing effect is not just killing cancer cells, but it is selective. So it means it kills the cancer cells, but it's not affecting the normal cells. If you look at the, what we see in the laboratory in the microscope, then we take normal cells of the breast, just normal cells, and we look first of all on the cells, we see them, this is the control, and now we take the uh, protectival all the time up, so the dosage go up. Two milligram per mole, we look at the microscope and normal cells, they are fine, three milligram, they are fine, four milligram, like more concentrated, they are fine, normal breast cells, cells are fine when we take the dosage of protective lab. Now let's look what happens when we look at cancer cells. So again, zero is the control. We look at the control, we look at the cancer cells. Now we take it up. So we take two milligrams, three milligrams, almost all the cancer cells are dead. The normal cells are alive, but the cancer cells are dead. And obviously when we take it higher, the same we did with colon cancer, prostate cancer, and you can see that there is a selective killing effect. Kills cancer cells, not affecting normal cells. That's how it looks in the graph. That's how it looks in the prostate cells, again, comparing normal prostate to uh, prostate cancer cells. And this we also published in, as I said, in one of the, in the International Journal of Oncology, and you're welcome to read this publication. The last thing is to look at the immune effect. So as I said, it improves immunity, different aspects of immunity, and especially the activation of natural killer cells, it proved them by almost four times fold, four, 400%. And again, it was published in the Oncotargeting Therapy, and you can learn about all the different aspects of how the protective will increase immune system. Uh, when we look at the herbs, each one of them, there is a lot of modern scientific data that shows when we choose this formula, there's a lot of both scientific knowledge, clinical knowledge, and traditional knowledge that went into it. And uh, you, you are uh, invited to read all the research that shows the anti-cancer immune and chemo side effect protection of each of the individual herb. And we also know the active ingredients. And when we prepare the formula, we look very much on different aspects of the herbs. 
also on the heart and their uh, active ingredients like in uh, stragalus, um, which is an adaptogen, which is very interesting herb. We know the flavonoids, we know the polysaccharides, we know the active ingredients and how they act. They don't just act in increasing immune system, they also are cardioprotective, they protect the heart and the liver, which are very, can be very affected from the toxic uh, toxicity of chemotherapy. Another example is scotellaria, which has been studied a lot. There's 50 flavonoids that are isolated from it, and we know how the different mechanism, how they kill cancer cells. The most, or one of the most important things when starting the research was a lot of R&D research and developed development. So we went very deep into how to concentrate the herbs in the, in the correct way, how to identify them properly, and to check biologically, biological activity of batch to batch of each of the herbs. And in the production of Productival, there is a special quality control mechanism that goes in that really check the activity, both of the individual herbs that go in, their concentration, and then of the whole formula. So we are ensuring a high quality, one of the highest quality possible of batch to batch consistency with each herbal formula. A simple case, how it is used and how it is often used in the clinic, or patient use it, it's a 42 uh, female, she had breast cancer, she started with the uh, protective oil during her chemotherapy, she started when her white and red blood cells were low, she took a full dose, which means two tablets three times a day, and we saw increase in her uh, white and red blood cells, she had very minor side effects, I remember she actually asked me at one time, you know, she said, you know, I'm Sitting in a group, everybody is taking chemo and they're feeling bad and I'm just feeling fine and I'm feeling well and my blood tests are well and before this my blood tests were low and I was feeling tired. She said it's a shame that all everybody is taking it. Now she's on a maintenance dose, on a high half dose of three tablets a day already for two years and she's feeling fine and it's nice to follow her up. Another simple case is a man with colon cancer. Uh, who also started the protective after he finished his chemo because he had a low blood count, his, his blood count didn't come up and he has a recurrent lung infections all the time and he was tired and lack of appetite. So he didn't recover well from the chemo. He started off protective he's taking it down now already for almost five years and he's well. So it's a very uh, nice to follow up and, and see such results. Uh, he actually called me up not uh, long ago and says, you know, for this last five years I've been traveling a lot, I'm a businessman, everybody around me are sick and somehow I never get sick, so I think it's from the protective all the time taking. Um, another case is a woman that I've been following for more than eight years, she had an active metastatic uh, breast cancer, she's taking anti-hormonal medicine and together with the protective valve, and it helped to reduce her side effects of sweating and hot flashes. And um, even her tumor got reduced, again, from taking both the protective and anti-hormonal medicine. And she's totally active. She looks healthy. She's active as a healthy person. Although she has a, a breast cancer a tumor with metastasis to the bones and other metastasis in the body, they stay checked for eight years. Nobody will believe she has cancer and she's totally active. The explanation from it got, comes from the understanding of how the formula and, and, and really the combination works. So to summarize, it's a very innovative product. It's a very special bioactive uh, product, uh, which has a very uh, specific manufacturing way of batch to batch consistency with a proven safety and efficacy. So I hope it did answer some of the questions you have about this product. And thank you so much for watching and be well and healthy. All the best.